I've been playing around with these tiles to see what type of pattern I want to go in and try to stay in these parameters that were given to me on the floor by the previous owners. Because the problem is, is that this edge of the flooring is actually not the same height as this edge of the flooring. And because it's a concrete pattern underneath, there's really not a whole lot I can do about it. And so I'm looking at doing a layout like this, maybe something really minimalist, like doing just straight rows, maybe even just a standard brick lay. I know I don't want to do a herringbone because these tiles are a little too large for that. So I'm just playing around with it to see if I can come up with a pattern that I think is going to work for the design that I want to do. But truly, I really want to keep it simple. do a really simple pattern, like yeah. straight rows, I think, because I, I really so. want to go with sort of like, I know I don't want herringbone, and I tried the kind of like two, 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 right. kind of look silly because once I start cutting the tiles closest to the end here, it won't match up. It'll kind of mess up the pattern. I right. can make it work and fit the pattern, but it's just not going to look complete. Right. So I think my best option working with the shape that I'm given is to just keep it like incredibly simple. simple. And then I'm gonna have that really cute tan grout line. Fighting with the shape. Yeah. So really because I'm half a tile short, if I go this way without having to cut them, I have a tile cutter, it's not that, it's just that if you're gonna go with a really clean, simple pattern, yeah. you don't wanna have the end one on the other side be a half tile when the other ones are full, it'll look silly. Yeah. So I'm thinking, since I'm short a half tile, if I turn them this way, which is a half tile yeah. wide, I am pretty close on some of mine, but. Can you make up an inch and a half? <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> if I eyeball it, I feel like that's gonna be a really thick red line. It works to here. <laughs> Can you center it? Maybe it doesn't go all the way to the end. But there's the concrete underneath, so it'll be showing. No, because we're gonna put flooring now. Oh, yeah. So we can trim that. But it'll be inside the... Uh, yeah. But the trim, you could, yeah. Yeah, hey, buddy. I'll throw you one up. Where, where are they? Oh, maybe in the truck. Okay, I'll go get one. Oh baby, I love your madness. It's so incredibly beautiful. Oh, you shine like gold, so selfless. I think that's gonna be my best option. Like these ones are gonna have to get cut. That one and that one. Like be this row. Yeah. And then we're gonna do all the little cuts up there, but. When it's grouted and our flooring's all on, and the rug and everything's here, that's my only option to stay in those parameters. I think. So uh, move all these. <laughs> okay, so I want to remember. Yeah. In a little bit when I do this, how I started. So I started from this corner. Right. To this way. It's well documented. Well documented. <laughs> yeah. I'm totally gonna have to look at this clip to remember. <laughs> Because as long as I start where this rectangle starts in this corner, I can carry the pattern that way and then I know I'm even. Yeah. Once I start using the spacers, I have the little white X tile spacers to right. make sure it's perfect. That was just an eyeball to kind of like do the math to figure it out. First I'm going to deal with this. But You're too excited. I had to lay it out because it was driving me crazy what was my pattern going to be. Right. And there's so many options, but only what can fit in the space that they've given me. I can't extend it any wider with the way that the flooring is. No. Well, I love the pattern that you chose. I wanted something very simple. I still think this is simple. It is, but it's it also has a pattern. I'm gonna be building the custom cabinets that are gonna go on either side of the fireplace, and then we're doing the live edge wood shelves when we build the live edge right. that we got from that local mill. Yeah. Just waiting for the shelving brackets to come in. Which... Well, and the wood's drying right now. I have it posted up in the garage. One of the things that I struggled with doing those great big floor to ceiling wardrobes that we did at the other house 
was finding knobs to be able to put on it that were substantial size enough to make sense for such a large door. Philip's mom actually found them for me, these great big ones at a different store and was able to actually find ones that were 12 inches big enough to justify such large grand doors in that room. So I wanna build these cabinets here. They're gonna be about waist height with sort of a counter base on it that we can put things on. And so I didn't want tiny little three or four inch knobs. I wanted something a little more substantial. So I actually found these eight inch ones and they're gold and they're more like an antique brassy gold. So I think they look a little more aged, but still a modern vibe. And they're gonna look so nice. The blue and the sea glass and then the raw wood is gonna be so beautiful with just that bright pop of white. And then we have sort of that rusty orangey colored leather. So the blue and orange are complementary. It's gonna pull from the rugs, textiles and the lamps and everything else we have in here. And I have a gold light fixture that's coming. <laughs> yeah, I really like the light fixture. It's gonna tie everything in. And I also got amazing fabric curtains that are going to be really sort of like period, time period for the house. Oh, no way you did. I did. Oh, so oh, far. No way. <laughs> <laughs> I love time period curtains. <laughs> Phil, this loves curtains. <laughs> oh, I don't like when the sun beats in on me in the a.m. Where our bedroom is, it comes up at 5 in the morning, 4.30. Yeah, 4.45, 5 in the morning. Yeah, 4.45, and it is beating on me. Your side of the bed. Yeah. I didn't plan that at all. Yeah, well, at least we have beautiful sunrises every morning. And a gorgeous view. Yeah. View of the brook. And... That I want to put a curtain over <laughs> ASAP. We had three herons yeah. in the brook the other okay. morning. YouTube family, I am trying to get a picture of these herons. You have to see them. They're absolutely gorgeous. There's three of them. They hang out all together. They're the best of friends, but they don't like me. <laughs> <laughs> well, every time Philip puts the GoPro there, they don't come. But when the GoPro has been gone for five minutes, they show up. And there's no way they know the GoPro's there, but they somehow must because they're very elusive when the GoPro is there. I will get them on camera. As soon as I, when we see them out in the water, you, as soon as you open the door, they they, hear. they fly away. It is beautiful when they fly away, but. Three coats of primer, by the way, I did. Snuck in a couple extra coats so that we could know for sure it was covered and that nothing was gonna bleed through once it was in there. I really like that color. Someone said, it needs to be named Alicia Blue now. <laughs> because Alicia I, this Blue. is the blue that I made and now it's like uh, my new favorite color. That's a pretty name for a pretty color. <laughs> makes me think of Little Blue Sky. Oh, uh, makes me think of Little Blue Sky. Well, I'm thinking if we, I don't even care if it gets turned around necessarily. Yeah. Because I want to add the, I can add the curb appeal to this. Yeah. I think it's nice to have the windows on the back, like looking out to, over there behind some of the brush we'll clean up will be the hills, right? Yeah. All that hills back there. So I'm thinking if rather than turning it, we make it more simple and just move it from here. <laughs> Drag it. Yeah. And put it like here. Yeah. So we're still where the well and the septic are there. Right. So the front of it would be like here because there's going to be a front deck so you'd come in down the drive here, there'd be a front deck, and then you'd have this side yard for some of the amenity stuff and the shed and like the exterior stuff we need to be able to put all of the amenities and stuff in, right? Right. And then your back deck would be, so say the building went to, like, I don't know, the measurements, but here-ish, right? Yeah. Your deck, your wraparound deck's gonna go around the front, around the back, around the sides, and then this is where our overhang uh, oh yeah pitch the, that you said with the, the hot tub and stuff would be on this side the porch yeah so we would have the length because then probably once that was added it'd be like here yeah and your wraparound porch so you'd have the sitting porch on the front that faces the wall the hot tub porch it would be off the bedrooms on this side yeah and then the back deck would be this way so when you're sitting on the back deck you get the view that's going to be back there i like it right yeah because I like on this side without turning it, I like that this window will face the view, not the road. Because there's no window on the other side. And see right. the light by the door? Right. We'll do, we'll switch them and do a little solar light, outside light on both sides. So there can still be one at the front door and then one on the back. Yeah. And this will be porch. So I know this will be moved there, but it'll be porch that comes around from the front step, porch here, wrap around porch here. Right? So say it's like comes out to maybe here from the thing. Except for patio chairs, barbecue, right? Yep. And then 
this is the part of the back that will go out probably a good 10 12 feet with the pitch with the hot tub and like the screened in area kind of by the hot tub right yeah so bedroom so off the back here bedroom will be here yeah um with a double patio fridge door out to the hot tub and stuff Yeah. So this could be where one site is. Yeah. And then have the septic in between the two, right? Yeah. So have a nice enough of a pad site there for one building, and then this building here, right? Because then if we ever had to decided to do two cabins on this property, and we could have shared amenities, right? Yeah. So there would be, you know, kayaks, paddle boards, fishing stuff, whatever. Because this property is big enough to have a few cottages. Yeah. <laughs> so fun coming here though. Yeah. And the flies are gone today. Yeah. So many flies. comments. Oh, yeah. I would love to come stay there, but you need to figure out how to get rid of those mosquitoes. <laughs> well, they're, they're gone. They're actually black flies and they're just here for a short time. So it's not really a seasonal issue like all year on the nice weather. And the days we came the other day, it was really warm and there was no breeze. So today there's a bit of a breeze and they're not here. There's not even one. So definitely we'll have some screen in porch. <laughs> okay, Alicia and I are gonna measure this pad real quick. <laughs> I'm just so curious to see if this is a, where they thought, I obviously they had plans or they wouldn't have come and put some crush down for a pad. Right. So I'm guessing this is big enough to be able to put the building on, but this isn't really the location on the spot that we really want it, right? No, I don't think so. Oh, it's definitely big enough for the place because So that's 24 feet. Yeah. So it's exactly 30 feet. Here, well, yeah. So I'll stand here. Where, where this foot is is 24. Okay. So that's for sure like another six, seven feet. So you're there. Yeah, right where my foot is. So then six feet. Yeah. So it's they exactly, they were here. gonna put it right here. Yeah. But I just don't see why you would want your back deck just facing that when a little bit over that way when you look out you see the hill view yeah but maybe how far back do we own here maybe we do own a bit back where we can clear out some of figure that. out a little backyard there too but a side yard's pretty sweet also because we're gonna we have do... the deck out that side it might be beneficial to have it facing the we... side yard kind of if we do the deck out that side then this pad's not big enough because oh, this well, is only for 30 deck. feet oh so it doesn't matter deck, yeah. we're gonna auger to the holes in anyways right. or yeah. Plus we can have more crush dropped off. Yeah. Well, I don't think it's that. There's, there's a lot there. around the property. <laughs> <laughs> We're not short of crush here, are we? Or whatever. It's so yeah. gravel. Okay, I want to see. Oh, it's out. a hard decision, right? Yeah. I Will that, I be able to lift this? I don't know. No. <laughs> <laughs> I got a bar, I got a wrecking bar at home. I should have brought it. We have to wait until our <laughs> Try it again, try it again, try it again. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way. You're like already trying to lift that. Okay, up. let me try, let me try, let me try. There's no yeah. way. Hold on. Oh you lifted it? What on earth? You didn't even let me get it on film yet. Oh, this is sweet. So the piping's already in there to go into the house. Yeah, that's so what... we gotta find out where it is. Okay. Well, we'll have someone come and inspect when it's our closing. So the piping's there. And the, can you look down inside? It looks really <laughs> nice. It's so oh, sunny. it's already plumbed all the way down. I can't see, Philly. Oh, that's amazing. I don't want to drop the camera on the wall. Oh, there. there. Hi. Hi. I see your reflection. <laughs> oh, it's so echoey. I fell down the well. <laughs> well, that's good. <laughs> that's nice. That's nice. Whoa. I, you jumped away from the camera view because yeah. I was too zoomed on you. And then our septic is over here. Yeah. Ta -da. That's the depth. Easy. This is so. It only has to be 18. It's. I want to see how big it actually is. If we want to put. Well, this goes to 24. So when we get cut off. That's it. Oh. Okay. Way bigger. So it's like 30. So that's big enough for the deck at the back. So we would just need to add more crush on that end for the addition that we want to add. Okay. And then it would leave that whole side of the property open 
if future meant that we wanted to add another cabin another cottage because the septic would be in the middle so we would then be able to run that septic to that and then we just have to figure out the well to the second one i love it here <laughs> I know. So we can't go inside for 30, well, 28 more days because our closing date, I believe, is July 8th. Right. So we just live down the road. So we've just come to like take a couple clips here. Um, just being local, it's okay. We just can come and take a quick peek here, but we definitely can't go inside. And we really don't know what it looks like inside because we haven't been able to go in. And we know they were buying it as is where is. So it really didn't matter what the condition of the inside was. Right. We can tell from the outside that the bones are what we would be looking for. So it's going to be a surprise for all of us. So like buying a second property sight unseen, but what we got this property for and what we want to do, we know we're going to gut whatever's in there anyway yeah. to be able to make it the way we want. Absolutely. So even if there are room divisions, kitchen, bathroom, bedrooms, closets, whatever set up in there, it doesn't matter. We're going to reconfigure it to be what we want it to be for the cottage rental, which is part of the fun of the whole project. <laughs> Being able to make it the way we want. Good thing you have a chainsaw. I think you're going to need it here. <laughs> okay. Because when I wanted the paint not to go in those spots for the gold, it wanted to. But now that I want it in those depths, it's like, nope. <laughs> Can you bring that gold back out for me? I think I'm going to try to do a little bit of a gold once everything's all on there. A couple of our YouTube family members had a really good suggestion to do the gold after. The, yeah. I don't know. I was so excited about trying to save yeah. the gold that <clears throat> like a little I didn't do it. <laughs> But I think that's such a good idea and we'll see little, if we can bring it back out afterwards. Got a little ahead of myself and totally forgot that I could add it back on after. <laughs> I once was told that I didn't have the hands of a surgeon. Do you know when that was? Yeah, well, um, uh, the OBGYN was like, do you want to cut this? Yeah. <laughs> when we gave, when I gave birth, and I was like, oh, great. <laughs> but he let me. He I almost cut me. his finger instead of the umbilical cord. <laughs> <laughs> you did great. I didn't have to do any of the work. <laughs> Looks funny without the top part on. Yeah, it looks flat, right? Yeah. I'm gonna get a mantle. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. I haven't it, looked back at it yet. Looks great. It could go without the massive gaping hole in the wall. What, that one? <laughs> yeah. The bat hole? Yeah. The bat hole? The bat hole? Oh my you know, gosh. The bat, the bat hole. Is that your last primer? This is actually white paint now. I did the prime. I did three coats of primer. So now I actually have to put white paint on it. So I think I'm still going to be a couple coats of white just to make sure. But I'm using a high height white to make sure it's really bright white. Fresh white out of the can. Fresh white out of the can. I'm thinking I just have a one coat of the blue on right now. It's going to have to sit overnight for it to harden really well. And then because I don't want to have any streaking or anything, I want to make sure it's really, really smooth. So I'm going to do the white on here, the same thing, put one coat on and then leave it overnight and then do a second coat on all of that tomorrow in the morning. It can kind of sit while we're working on other stuff and then probably need another coat after that. Yeah, that white is nice. <laughs> and that's just the first coat. Yeah, you can tell the difference. Oh, a package came today. <gasps> I totally forgot. I didn't forget because I was boasting about it to mom and telling everyone all day today about this amazing package that came. Um, okay, let me finish smoothing this on and then I'm gonna go get oh, it. Oh, you're not, you're not trying, you're not going so smooth now. <laughs> Look at you. So I don't excited. Leave my there, I'll come back to it. <laughs> I know exactly where he's gonna go. One of our YouTube family members sent us this box and it said fragile on the top and it was wrapped really well. Yeah. And then I opened it up and it said, I hope it's arrived like not broken. And I'm like, what on earth is this? And some of you guys sent us the most amazing things. So thoughtful. This is 
spectacular. So one of our YouTube family members sent us a captain. It's Captain it's, Myers. It's Captain Myers and he's holding a basket with fish in it, has a cute lantern. It totally came unbroken, which I'm so surprised it survived. He's carrying a fishing net on his back and it's just all kinds of amazingness. So if it was you, thank you so much. This was amazing. I know exactly where he's gonna go and he'll be part of our house forever. And thank you for thinking of us because he's amazing. I love his little pipe. I love his face. I love all the details. I love the colors. I love everything about him. <laughs> he really is perfect. He's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So he is sitting in a safe place right now because we have some renovations going obviously in this room and then he's going to get put in his permanent spot. But thank you so much. Like, oh, amazing. Thank you. He's so handsome. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> put him in a safe spot. I don't know if I want it painted anymore. <laughs> Plus, I think he got off pretty scot-free. Like, I've been reading the comments and no one has come at you yet. I think they're For painting this absolutely gorgeous marble that is probably it's worth... Marble. Yeah, this gorgeous marble <laughs> that's probably worth a million dollars. It is not marble. And you've ruined it. Full painted marble <laughs> on slate. Okay. That was washing off every time I dusted it. Like, no way. It is now confirmed 100% that this was not marble. Not marble. So, under the top mantelpiece, you can tell that it's unpainted. It's just slate rock. It's ugly. Yeah. I couldn't live with the color. There's no way. Well, it was painted once and it can be painted again. It's like 122 years of dust off the top. <laughs> Actually, all the things I they... think that's just drywall putty. Yeah, but, but yeah. they adhered it with drywall putty. It wasn't even <laughs> silicone on, or I thought it was caulking yesterday. No, it I was don't the think... perimeter there. Yeah. They was holding the edges of that. It was just... Uh, Drywall putty, that's it. Wasn't even what I thought. <laughs> the goal is to get this to go on level. Right. Because it was sitting like this. Already a million times better. I'm not even done yet. <laughs> you just get started. I just get started on this room. Let's go. Plus, something came for the dining room today. Oh! <laughs> yes! The decor piece that I'm so excited about. <laughs> I think this is hilarious that Philip is so excited about this because we ordered a bunch of new things for the house. New, some old, you know, we, we try to be as budget friendly as we possibly can and we splurged on this one item that we were so excited about. <laughs> that isn't something that nor we've never done this before. Right. Well, oh no, actually that's we not did. true. We did in Dayton's room. We did do some of this on the wall doing Dayton's birch. Right. I totally forgot we did that. but. Um, we've mostly done removal of this stuff, but the old house was covered in wallpaper when we moved in. Obviously the camper, Philip removed so much wallpaper, but we are going to put a wallpaper accent wall in the dining room. Let's go. <laughs> wait, what day is it, wait, what day is it? <laughs> so I was looking at things that were styles of the time period of our house. And one of the things that is throughout the years has always been popular was the tool print or tool print however you say it depending on where you live i guess you name it <gasps> i didn't did you just do that take the camera <laughs> oh my you always make fun of me for doing this okay hold on wait wait, wait. i don't have you yet he stepped on my paint can lid <laughs> yeah not one Two. You stepped on both? Yeah. Oh, take your sock off. Is it on my pants? It's on my pants. <laughs> Honey, it's on my pants. <laughs> Is it on your pants or just your sock? <laughs> it's all over me. I got gray on me. Take your socks off. <laughs> I have done that so many times. Oh, it's through the through sock. Through your sock? Oh no. I'm gonna go get your paper towels and I don't know why. Oh no! Philip, okay, stay still. Be a statue. <laughs> How long can I stand here like this? I'm happy with the fireplace. I am too. 
<laughs> I know it needs more coats. It's still wet. There's so much more to do. And this is another whole bit of a progress that needs to happen. But for now, second or third day of stages, I'm really happy with it. Oh, wow. Yeah, love it. But I do know that there's a lot more work ahead of us just even to tackle the fireplace, let alone the whole rest of the room. But today, aside from a package that we got from our YouTube family member, something came for the dining room, which is the room we're gonna work on next. And I was, today I was like, work on the fireplace or start something new? Cause I was <laughs> so excited that this came. Philip and I have been waiting and waiting and actually it arrived almost like two weeks later than it said. Yeah. There was problems with the shipping. Um, just, it got stuck at customs, so we had to wait even longer, which was killing us. We just wanted to see it in real life, what it was gonna look like. So I wanna work on an accent project in the dining room, and yeah. it's gonna have that gorgeous credenza you saw in my little dining room sneak peek video, and a mirror and everything above it, and so I wanted something just on one wall to kind of just make that space really fun. And something that I've always loved is the tool print, or tool print, however you wanna say it, and it's kind of just age appropriate for the house, and so I couldn't resist ordering some wallpaper. So fun. So we ordered a unique toll, which I think is really fun. Just that I live with boys and they love space and aliens and like all the cool kind of things. So from far away, this looks like just regular tool print and it has sort of the pine tree forest like we have here. And then if you look up closer, it is a really unique pattern that looks like little aliens have invaded the forest and kind of gone up and over <laughs> the forest. So I know this isn't for everyone, but when this is on the wall, when you walk in the room, you're not going to tell that it's not actual, just the original old school. Tool. I love it. But my boys are crazy <laughs> about this. And this is just really fitting for our family of just something that the boys are into. And I think it's gonna be gorgeous. And I love that it ties in the navy blue, which we're gonna be doing some navy blue in the kitchen. And the print, the forest, just absolutely everything is just gonna go with what I'm gonna do in that room. So I'm excited about this. And this is actually peel and stick wallpaper and it's a canvas texture. So it's a really nice thick material and it's going to go on the wall really smooth. So without your old school wallpaper paste. So if Philip ever decides he wants to peel it off and Never. do you know what day is it, it will just come off just like we did with the birch tree at the other house. So I'm excited about this. So I couldn't resist today, I had to show it to you. So even though we're not gonna work on it until the living room is done, couldn't resist to show you, but let me know what you think anyways. I think it's super fun. And Phil putting on wallpaper is pretty ironic. So that in itself <laughs> makes this project so fun. So instead of, uh, do you wanna paint the hallways? I'm gonna be like, Phil, do you wanna hang the wallpaper? Yes, I do. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us on today's video. We're trying to do our daily videos for you guys, working on this transformation is going to be so amazing when we get through this room. Stay tuned, hit subscribe if you're new to our channel. I love you and I will see you tomorrow.